These are some motion sensor lights. All right, coming in from Amazon was one of my Prime Day deals that I got. Uh, these were reduced in price from $17.99 down to $12.99. And they are, as they say, motion sensor lights. However, they're Type C, which are quite difficult to get. There's no shortage of uh, micro USB ones on Amazon, but I wanted these for the Type C ness of them. Uh, they're black and silver and white and warm light warm because these are going in the bathroom i thought they might be quite nice as a sort of night light and i don't want to have blistering white light through it and the black is quite nice because i've got a dark floor okay so they are fairly simple uh it's motion sensor lights that have 39 leds inside them and they're rechargeable you can use them in wardrobes and things like that i think that's what they're actually called as wardrobe lights now just to be honest I have opened this already and I've taken the top one out and I've put it on charge because I'm busting to, to, to get them working uh, so I can use them tonight. So inside we get, well there's two of these, but one of them's currently missing. We get a little uh, piece of paper that has English on it somewhere I'm sure. Motion sensor light package. I'll bring that up here and you can stop the video and analyze all that if you want your detail of because the battery is 300 milliamp hours no 900 milliamp hours 1500 milliamp hours 2200 milliamp hours ah right okay because there's different sizes i believe i've got these middle ones which are the 900 milliamp hour ones of course there are links down in the show notes as to where to get them from on amazon and inside the package you get these now there's two missing <laughs> because I attached them to the bottom of it to put them up on the on the wall. But I didn't count just how many there were. So there's this many plus two. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now by my maths, that would make there was eight in the package altogether. I don't know whether or not you want to use that in the fact that you could use two on each and then place them in a few different places around the house as you see fit which would be really handy uh, they are they have a bit of crown adhesive on the back and then on the front they have the this blue protective material and then underneath they're like a metal stainless steely type thing i don't know exactly what it's called maybe it's aluminium they're fairly light and i'm hoping that they don't rust in any way but the magnets on the back of this connect to these and you just stick them to the wall I'm sure three of them will keep it up better than two, but I'm going to use two and then have a multitude of locations that I can put them up. You get one USB type C and it takes about two hours for this to charge, uh, which ain't bad. Sure. And here is the, <laughs> the empty one of what I took off. Um, so you have this little plastic bit, which goes over the end to protect the end during packaging. And then this little bit goes over the sensor. Uh, and then this is the actual packaging itself. It comes with a strip. I haven't removed this yet. That, that wasn't me putting it back on again. That's the way it came from the factory. And you have a USB type C here. You have a power button here and your sensor up there. Grand. This end has nothing, but it's kind of shiny, reflective, actually a wee bit scratchy. And then on the back here, handily you have the instructions of how to use them on the back so you don't forget <laughs> because the current one that i have this micro usb i don't know what the the toggle on the side actually means it just goes zero one two three i'm guessing zero is off but this is mode one always on no indicator so it's currently off if i press that it it'll be always on and that's your nice warm light you can see it against my hand against the box it's yellowy. Uh, click it again for mode two. Uh, the green indicator flashes six times. We got three there, but I imagine it flashed three before. Then mode three, the green indicator lights on for three seconds, which is your all day sensor. So it'll detect any movement 
probably me moving in front of it doesn't help. And then hold button to adjust the brightness. Oh, right. Ah. That's it going up. And that's it going down. Excellent. Right. So if it's a wee bit too bright in the bathroom at night, you can turn it down to the lowest and obviously you'll get extra R's out of it. Stepless dimming and memory function. Memory function? Memory function? No clue about memory function. And then a fourth press turns it off. So it's really quite sleek. It's, it's about three quarters of a centimetre wide. Uh, obviously the wee sensor is at the end and that makes that's a bit bulbous and makes it a wee bit larger but it looks really nice compared to a lot of the other ones on Amazon I just thought this looked a lot more chic than the rest then this uh, this well I suppose we'll take this off to have a look at it excuse the people outside they're terribly rowdy uh-huh uh so we have a bit of an overlap here and then an underlap there so I imagine it would go that way and perhaps that points the light up whereas that way would point the light down so if you want to light the floor you put it that way but because it clicks to these it doesn't really matter if, if you put it in the wrong way round you can take it off and put it back on again dead handy dead handy I'm sure you've seen these before and you're just watching this to see whether or not this is a quality piece of material uh, so the other one's charging it'll hopefully be charged in an instant uh, because whenever I come back we'll be having a look at it against the wood floor of my bathroom okay so I've mounted two of the silvery brackets here at the bottom of the, the radiator actually on the unpainted skirting board the light will is beside the door so people as they walk in will activate the light now I have to turn it on pressing the button helps and uh, getting the right setting for what I wanted to do whenever people walk in it turns on and we also have to get the dimming correct as well we'll have to change it so that it's quite low I don't want it to be too bright but holding the button in takes it down a good bit and that works quite nicely however I am lighting upward so if I turn it around the other way that'll light down toward the floor and it looks quite nice in the dead of night it won't dazzle you so we're sitting in the dark waiting for movement and there it is. It's turned on. This is what it looks like when it turns on. All very nice. It seems to illuminate just that little area of the room quite well beside the door. And when you open the door, it activates it. It doesn't stay on terribly long. There you go. That's it turned off. You can't change that, which is a pain. Right. Okay, so we're back. It has been a bit of time since I filmed what you've just watched. Uh, it's, it's roughly about a month, actually because I was waiting to see how long the battery did last and it was a month now this gets used multiple times in that position that I showed you seconds ago <laughs> or a month ago down on the skirting never mind um, and the battery in this because it's only turning on for roughly about I'd say maybe about six or seven seconds it lasts um, it means that it's it's not on terribly long now there is a bit of a drawback in that if you're standing cleaning your teeth at the uh, the sink you have to sort of move around a bit I guess I get your steps up if you're trying to be you know fit and stuff um, you have to keep jiggling around to make sure that this stays on so it's not uh, the perfect solution for a bathroom that you're going to be wanting to use a lot and coming into the winter I imagine it'll probably get a wee bit more annoying um, and you're going to have a more permanent. You're going to need to have more permanent light. But for quick trips in and out, it just saves that little bit extra, which is which is what I was really looking for. If you want to quickly run in, grab something, and run back out again, you don't have to turn the light on. Great. If if you're a gentleman like me and have to go in and have to answer the call of nature, then this works perfectly. Now the other thing that I'm looking to do in the near future is I'm going to buy myself a solar panel. And I'm going to mount it outside the bathroom and run a wire in with a USB Type-C cable dangling there that I can put into this. And then technically I could hopefully light my bathroom for free. Because if this takes about a month, possibly even two months, depending on how much you're using it, uh, to 
to discharge, then hooking it up to a solar panel for a month will probably see it get somewhere close. I just want to try and do that. I don't, I don't have any reason. Um, and I know it's so much easier to throw this on to charge for two hours and then carry it back in. But I love the idea of not even having to take these out of the room again. Just, just put them up, plug them in, leave that for a month and then swap it back over to the other one whenever it eventually dies. I hope that works. I'm, <laughs> I'm quite intrigued to try that. But yes, it's it's a lovely unit. It's very reliable. It uh, it hasn't failed me. I would love to be able to mess around with the memory setting in here because I think the the memory setting in the in the manual is to remember the the brightness level as opposed to tinker around with any other variables in it. It stays on for as long as it stays on, and that's your lot. You can't amend that, which is a real pain. But if that's working for you, if this is what you're looking for, if you're going to be putting it in a shed, say, where you're going to be constantly moving around and hammering and chiseling and that sort of thing, then this could very well work. There's a lot of brightness off it uh, whenever you turn it up to full. So let us know down in the, the comments box if you've got one of these or if you like it, or if you know of some way that you can actually tinker around and change the time at which this stays on. And I'm just missing something because it sure ain't in the instructions then let me know. Or if you've got something similar, I think these are great. I'm going to get more of them. I'm going to try and do the whole house. <laughs> Give us a wee thumbs up if you fancy. Turn on those notifications. Hit the subscribe button. And other than that, take care. Mm -hmm.